And now to a developing story. Parents in this South Bay neighborhood have been extra cautious after learning a brazen thief is targeting children. And just this week, three kids were robbed right here at Stonegate Street as well as Old Hanal Ranch Road. And 10 News reporter Preston Phillips is in Chula Vista. You spoke with these scared parents who won't even let their kids walk outside alone. Well, apparently this is what thieves are after, iPhones, iPads, and cash. Talk with one dad tonight who lives down here in this quiet Chula Vista neighborhood whose daughter goes to East Lake Middle School here. He says now he won't even let his daughter walk home alone. Jesse Vigil finds what's been happening recently to young teens in East Chula Vista worrisome. Says it's the talk of his daughter's school. All of her friends are talking about it, and she actually asked if she can walk to the mall after school today, and I was like, no. Chula Vista police say on May 26, the 13-year-old was walking home from school here on the 500 block of Stonegate Street when someone stopped in a white Ford sedan, possibly a Mustang, asked him for his cell phone and cash, then took off. Then, just a few minutes later, two middle schoolers were walking here near the 1300 block of Old Hanal Ranch Road when a person in a similar vehicle pulled up and pulled out a replica handgun, took their cell phones and an iPad. Now, detectives have linked another possible case to another event on April 30th here out in front of the Salt Creek Recreation Center. Another cell phone stolen, same car. Targeting, you know, anyone, but targeting minors is pretty ridiculous. Vigil tells 10 News it's also possible the person or people targeting teens is driving or riding in a white Ford Focus similar to this one. Do you know anybody who's seen the car? I do not. No, um, but I know everybody's kind of on alert and looking around. Investigators say there may be additional cases reported or unreported. Chula Vista PD says call them if you have any information. In Chula Vista, Preston Phillips, 10 News.